Hi everybody, welcome to video 31A. The last few videos we've been making a classified image of Yellowstone National Park after the 88 wildfires. Uh, in this video I want to show you how to make ground truth points. And of course, uh, ground truth points are used to randomly pick a bunch of locations that you can then go to the field with your classified map and assess whether your classified class actually matches the actual class on the ground. So in other words, if your map predicts it's a meadow, you should go to that location and find a meadow. And if not, uh, you may need to readjust your classification approach. So this is fairly straightforward. Uh, by the way, there's an automatic routine to do this in ArcGIS Pro, but we're not using Pro right now, so we're going to show you how to do a little old-fashioned workaround in regular ArcGIS. Um, and the workflow we'll use, we'll first use the Create Random Points tool to generate a bunch of random points. We'll then use the Extract Values tool to get the values off of our classified raster and associate them with those points. We'll then use the Add XY Coordinates tool to actually add the lat long uh, into the attribute table associated with the random points. Then we'll actually sort the attribute table and take out only the records that we want to use for ground truth points. And then we'll export those records into an, into an Excel file and also into a shape file. So here we go. Uh, here's our ArcMap project. Here's the classified image. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and locate the Create Random Points tool. Okay, here it is, and I'm going to fill this out and get back to you. Okay, so for my output location, I've got my folder, then I've named the output class random points 4shp to let it know it's a shape file. Then for a constraining feature, I've input the Yellowstone uh, the National Park boundary, which is a shape file. And so it's, this means it's only going to pick points that are within the extent of this particular shape file. Um, and it's important to use this box, not the constraining extent. Uh, I've said I want to generate a thousand random points. Um, my goal is to get at least five or six points in each class. So I need to choose enough points that I'm going to get at least five, six, seven, or however many you need points in each class. Um, and then I'm not going to specify a minimum spacing between the points. Just leave that at zero. And we'll hit OK. OK, so here's the points. Notice they all fall within the extent of the Yellowstone National Park boundary in red. So we didn't get any points outside the boundary. So that's really handy to use that shapefile to specify the extent over which you want your, your points generated. So now let's go find the tool Extract Values to Point. And we're going to use this tool to actually get the underlying class values associated with each of these points. So we're going to get the raster value that matches up with the location of the point. I'll fill this out. OK, so for my input feature, I've got the random points shape file I just generated. For my input raster, I've got the classified raster that I've made in the previous videos. And then I gave my output file name something meaningful. And that's going to be a shape file also. So I gave it a .shp uh, extension. And we'll hit OK. OK, so uh, the new shape file was generated. Obviously, the point locations are exactly the same. The only difference now is if we open the attribute table, we see this additional column called raster value. So that's literally extracted the, the raster class associated with each point. Now, assuming you would also like to get out the latitude and longitude, or the, the UTM coordinates, of each of those points, we can do that quickly simply by searching for the uh, Add XY Coordinates tool. And there's that. I'll open that up. 
And this is a fairly straightforward tool. I'm just going to put in the shape file I just made and hit OK. And hopefully those XY coordinates should be added as new columns in that attribute table. Sure enough, there's our UTM coordinates for latitude and or longitude and latitude. So now the trick we're going to use is obviously we only want maybe six or ten ground control points for each of the classes. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, create a new field that's going to let me signal uh, which records or which points I want to keep. So to do that, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to Add Field. Uh, a short integer is fine. I'm going to call it just Keep. These are going to be the records I want to keep. So I'll hit OK. It's added that. And the next thing I can do now is just double click this raster value. And that's going to sort all the records by their actual um, underlying raster classification category. So you see we've got all the ones here. And then I'll scroll down. We've got all the twos, the threes. And we only have eight classes, so we only go down to eight. So now I'm going to start editing this. And I'm basically going to specify over here in the keep column, I'm going to turn each of these into a, a value of one for the points I want to keep. And I'm only going to do it for the first six records of each category. So I kept the first six of class one. Now I'm going to keep the, the first six of class two. And I'm going to pause while I do this for all the other classes. OK, so now I've got the first six records in each class flagged with a one over in their keep column. Everything else is 0. So I'm going to now uh, stop editing. I'm going to save my edits and close this. So now, in order to export those points, I'll go up to Selection and use Select by Attributes. And this is going to let us write a little expression telling Arc which of those points we want to select. And I'm going to choose to write this as I want to select or highlight all the points where keep value is greater than 0. And I'm going to hit OK. And sure enough, it's highlighted in blue all those points that we assigned a keep value of 1. And now we can export this data in two ways. One way I'll do it is just to right click here on the shape file and go to Data, uh, Export Data. and uh, make sure I have the folder path correct, and I will call this uh, GTP points final. And I'm going to make sure this is set to selected features instead of all features. And we'll only export the selected. Uh, we're going to do the coordinate system as the layers coordinate system. And we'll hit OK. Add it as a layer. And now if we remove that stuff, Sure enough, we've only got a limited subset of ground control points. And if we open the attribute table, we'll see that uh, we have six points from class one, six points from class two, and so on. So our final step is to export this data as a text file or an Excel file. So we have the data in a spreadsheet form as well. There's a bunch of ways to do that. One really easy way is just to go right into the attribute table, open the attribute table, uh, hold down Shift, and select all the rows. And then right click right on this far left column, not on the actual cells themselves, but actually over here on the margin. Right click in there and choose Copy Selected. Go over to Excel, right click, and choose Paste. And then you've got that data right into an Excel format. Uh, obviously, we've got the classified value here. We've got our lat long. And then you can just save this Excel file, print it, and bring, you, bring it with you to the field. So one final step I can show you is how to also uh, 
convert that shapefile into a .kmz file, which can then be easily imported into uh, either Google Earth or into Garmin software to get those points into a GPS. So there should be uh, a tool called 2KML. We'll search that. There it is. We'll choose layer to KML. Obviously for our layer, we'll choose our final points and then we'll specify an output location. We'll output it as a KMZ and everything else should be good. We'll just hit OK and it should generate that KMZ file which is then a little bit more versatile, versatile than the .shp file. Awesome. So in summary, I just showed you how to generate ground truth points in ArcMap. We created the points using the create random points. Then we extracted the values. We added XY coordinates. We sorted them in the attribute table and, and added an extra keep column. Then we selected those keeper records and uh, exported them into a shape file, an Excel file, and into a KMZ file. Thanks, and join us uh, for the next video if you want to know how to get these waypoints into a Garmin GPS that you can then take to the field. Thanks.